The Division of Hematology and Oncology is one of the largest divisions within the Department of Medicine. We have more than 50 uh, faculty members, and our faculty uh, runs the gamut from laboratory-based PhD scientists to clinical researchers, uh, physician scientists, to pure clinicians. And we provide clinical care both at the main campus as well as in regional sites uh, throughout Northeast Ohio. We have a variety of priorities for the division, and one thing I'd like to highlight is that we really promote the notion that clinical research is an important component of our clinical care that we provide to patients. And we conduct research activities that span from prevention of cancer all the way uh, through to the management of advanced disease and uh, the management of cancer survivors. And we like to think that through clinical research, we're bringing innovation uh, to our patients and providing them with that additional uh, opportunity for cutting edge care. We are about to move into a brand new freestanding cancer hospital uh, that will house both our clinical activities related to oncology, as well as benign hematology, such as our patients with sickle cell disease that form a large benign hematology practice uh, for our group. One of the major priorities in the coming year uh, as we transition to the new hospital uh, is to vision an entirely new and futuristic, if you will, model of care to provide the highest quality care uh, with the greatest opportunity uh, for innovation and access to uh, the newest uh, therapeutics in the new cancer hospital. We have a variety of research programs uh, related to that, uh, which include a developmental therapeutics program uh, involving new drug development, uh, efforts to uh, develop uh, and discover uh, biomarkers all of which are promoting the notion of a more personalized approach uh, to care. The Division of Hematology and Oncology has great breadth and depth uh, in our teaching and educational programs. Um, we train medical students, uh, house officers in the Department of Medicine, as well as fellowship training in both hematology and oncology. In addition to our clinical training, uh, we also have a number of formal activities and uh, regular conferences, including a Cancer Center Grand Rounds that we spearhead, a so-called Blood Club uh, that is a CME activity that has speakers with national reputations from around the country on a variety of scientific topics, as well as a variety of other CME activities uh, that we produce for the community as well as for our own trainees. One thing I, I should note is is that uh, many members of our faculty uh, give uh, routine lectures in a variety of settings, both on the, the main campus as well as in the community. Many of these activities uh, provide continuing medical education credit. Another uh, novel approach that we've taken to education uh, is the use of our multidisciplinary tumor boards. We have a dozen disease teams uh, that are multidisciplinary groups that get together uh, on a regular basis once a week and present cases, discuss them, uh, develop treatment algorithms as well as treatment plans for individual patients. Uh, these tumor boards, which are formal activities, also provide CME credit and serve as an educational tool for the participants. As a new division chief for hematology and oncology, I have ambitious plans for the future of our division. A major uh, event that is occurring in the next 12 months is our transition to a new freestanding cancer hospital. This is associated with a great deal of recruitment of uh, high caliber clinical investigators as well as program building uh, both around a new model of clinical care uh, as well as clinical research activity. In particular, we are recruiting individuals who are able to leverage the great scientific depth that we have within the division, within the cancer center, and within the university into the development of translational efforts uh, to develop new therapies for patients. And we're very excited about the opportunities that currently exist in, in this realm. As we grow and build in both basic laboratory research as well as clinical research, we're seeking to develop teams of multiple investigators working together uh, to leverage skills and talents uh, into scientific advances uh, that will have the greatest potential for impact.